As part of the updates to Ramwick's Local Environmental Plan, or LEP, a suite of changes to planning controls around housing are being proposed. This presentation will detail one of the important changes we're putting forward, the five new housing investigation areas, or HIAs. We'll talk through where the HIAs are located, what's changing and why, and provide some technical background to support these decisions. We'll also outline the benefits of the proposed HIAs and talk through exactly what planning controls are proposed to be amended in each of the five HIAs. Randwick Council has been set housing targets by the State Government to accommodate growth for future generations. In the next six to ten years, we need to provide for an additional 4,464 homes. We're on track to meet this target as our existing planning controls provide capacity for 3,416 new homes to be built. Our proposed LEP amendments will create an additional 1,048 dwellings. Approximately half are proposed to be created through changes to dual occupancy and minimum lot sizes, and the remaining will be created through new housing investigation areas. While the HIAs are not the only way Council intends to meet its housing targets, they will be an important way of delivering new housing in the LGA to meet the needs of Randwick's growing population and local economy. In consultation with you and in response to the findings of our Housing Strategy Review and Affordable Housing Plan, Council has identified five HIAs across the LGA where we believe additional medium density housing should be built. The five HIAs are located in North Kensington, West Randwick, Arthur Street, McGill Street and Kingsford South. These locations have been chosen due to their access to transport infrastructure and proximity to local jobs and services. The HIAs will support local town centres and key employment hubs such as UNSW and Randwick Hospital by providing new housing areas within convenient walking distance. The proposed uplift for each of the HIAs are generally between five and eight storeys. The proposed heights and densities were modelled through a detailed urban design and built form analysis conducted by Council. In the analysis, Council tested, refined and developed built form scenarios to ensure that future development is both economically feasible and responds positively to local character and amenity. This place-based approach also enables a smooth transition in height and built form between the HIAs and surrounding areas, limiting potential impacts. The proposed uplift was tested using 3D modelling and the proposed floor space ratio and height controls were developed through the application of well-established design principles to create a specific scale of uplift and urban design outcomes for each precinct. For each HIA, Council has prepared a detailed urban design analysis report which outlines the local planning context and character, environmental constraints and opportunities, heritage significance, the planning strategy applied and economic feasibility testing. The urban design reports are on exhibition as part of the planning proposal. This analysis and modelling showed that there are considerable benefits to the community from the proposed HIA planning changes. These include the provision of new housing close to transport jobs and services, the provision of housing for employees in the health and education industries, support for businesses in local town centres, promotion of economic growth and support for creative and cultural uses and the nighttime economy, creation of new precincts with shared cycle walking paths, public and green spaces and outdoor social hubs to facilitate healthy lifestyles, and a reduction in community carbon footprints by encouraging public transport, cycling and walking over private car use. The HIAs are also important for the delivery of new affordable housing. The draft affordable housing plan, which is on exhibition as part of this planning proposal, will ensure that affordable housing is provided in the HIAs as part of redevelopment. This means that if a site within an HIA is redeveloped under the proposed new controls, the landowner or developer will need to provide an affordable housing contribution. Now let's take a look at each of the five HIAs and the changes proposed. 
The Kensington North HIA is located in the northwest corner of the LGA alongside two busy thoroughfares, Anzac Parade and Allison Road. The HIA adjoins the Kensington Town Centre and is well served by public transport, including the light rail. It also has easy access to public open space, including Centennial Park, ES Marks Athletics Field and the Moore Park Golf Course. The proposed changes to the planning controls for the North Kensington HIA include increasing building heights to between 16.5 and 23 metres, which is equivalent to approximately five and seven storeys, increasing the FSR to between 1.5 to 1 and 2 to 1, and introducing a 5% affordable housing contribution across the HIA. The existing zoning, which is currently medium density, will stay the same. As shown in the images on this slide, the North Kensington HIA includes an area of no change. Areas of no change also exist within the Arthur Street, McGill Street and Kingsford South HIAs. This is because in undertaking the detailed urban design analysis, it was found that some areas within the investigation boundary had less potential than others for uplift and have been excluded from medium density development. Council's urban design analysis showed that increases to heights and densities in the excluded areas would not be consistent with the character of the area, including heritage items and fine grain buildings that warrant preservation. To help understand how the proposed new controls will translate on the ground, we've created a series of photo montages to demonstrate possible future built form scenarios. These are examples only to assist in understanding the proposed planning controls in their context and do not reflect actual proposals. The possible future built form images are based on building envelopes that comply with New South Wales Apartment Design Guide and Council's development controls for building separation, setbacks, floor to ceiling heights and maximum building width to ensure future apartments have good access to sunlight and natural cross ventilation. The photo montages demonstrate how the HAAs might be developed over time, with the example buildings having appropriate setbacks, building articulations, a mix of materials, balconies and green spaces. In this example, we have a view of Doncaster Avenue near the corner of Carlton Street looking north towards Allison Road. The image on the left shows the existing buildings as the street looks now. The image on the right demonstrates what a future building might look like under the proposed 16.5 metre height control with an FSR of 1.5 to 1. When considering the proposed controls, it's important to relate these to what is already permissible, not just what might be existing on site. In most cases, existing building heights within HAAs allow up to four storeys to be constructed. However, this might not always be reflected in what is currently on site. For instance, the image on the left shows a two-storey building on the corner, which is below the existing permissible building height. The image on the right shows the current permissible LEP height in red dash, compared with the proposed future-built form of buildings. The future building form has both ground floor and upper level building setbacks to achieve an appropriate bulk and scale. In this example, also within the North Kensington HIA, we have a view of Anzac Parade looking south. The image on the left shows the existing view and the image on the right demonstrates what a future building might look like under the proposed 23 metre height control, which is approximately seven storeys with an FSR of two to one. When looking at these images, it's important to remember that not all sites within an HIA will necessarily be redeveloped in the short or medium term. The proposed planning controls open the opportunity for landowners to develop their properties with a new land use to a new building height and density. However, it will be up to the property owners to act on and deliver redevelopment projects with there being no requirement placed upon property owners to sell or redevelop their properties. The West Randwick HIA is located in the north of the local government area and bound by King Street, William Street and Allison Road. It's surrounded by key institutional uses such as the Royal Randwick Racecourse and the Health and Education Precinct. The HIA has easy access to public open space, including Centennial Park, 
and is well served by public transport, including the light rail. Proposed changes to the planning controls for the West Randwick HAA include increasing the heights to between 16.5 and 24 metres, which is approximately five and eight storeys, increasing the FSR to between 1.8 to 1 and 3.6 to 1, and introducing an affordable housing contribution of between 3 and 5% across the HIA. The existing zoning for the West Randwick HIA is a combination of medium density, which you can see in red, and business, which is shown in blue. No changes are proposed to the existing zoning. These images show a view from the southern side of Allison Road looking east from the shared path along the race course. The image on the left shows the existing buildings as the street looks now. The image on the right demonstrates what a future building might look like under the proposed 24 metre height control, which is approximately eight storeys with an FSR of 3.6 to 1. As we saw in the previous slide, part of the West Randwick HIA is zoned business. The redevelopment of this HIA will provide the opportunity for urban renewal and street level activation in the form of ground floor retail uses, such as cafes and shops, to service the needs of the residents of the HIA and surrounds. The Arthur Street HIA is located in the suburb of Randwick in the LGA's north and is bounded by Arthur Street, Clara Street, High Street and Wansey Road. The HAA adjoins the Randwick Health and Education Precinct and is in close proximity to the Randwick Junction Town Centre with access to retail, cafes, services and business uses along Belmore Road. It is well supported by public transport being adjacent to the light rail route and close to the Randwick Junction Transport Hub. The proposed changes to the planning controls for the Arthur Street HAA include increasing the heights to between 13.5 and 26 metres, which is between approximately four and eight storeys, increasing the FSR to three to one, and introducing an affordable housing contribution of 3% across the HIA. No changes are proposed to the existing zoning, which is currently medium density. The Arthur Street HIA also includes an area of no change, located north of Blenheim Street to protect heritage properties and adjoining residential areas. These images show a view from High Street looking east along the light rail route. The image on the left shows the existing buildings as the street looks now. The image on the right demonstrates what future buildings might look like under the proposed 26 metre height control with an FSR of 3 to 1. The right hand image also shows the new buildings on the southern side of High Street that are currently under construction as part of the Randwick Hospital expansion area. The uplift in heights and FSR will provide the opportunity for urban renewal which can cater to Randwick's growing population and deliver high quality residential accommodation. The image also shows how active public and private transport will be integrated in and utilised by the HIA. Being in such close proximity to the Randwick Hospital campuses also offers opportunities for ground floor uses such as medical centres and to support the health precinct. These images show a view from Botany Road looking north into the HIA. The image on the left shows the existing buildings as the street looks now. The image on the right demonstrates what future development might look like under the proposed 26 metre height control, which is approximately eight storeys with an FSR of three to one. The right hand image illustrates how building heights have been carefully considered to respond to the existing character of the area. In this instance, building heights along Arthur Street opposite Rittle Park are limited to 13.5 metres, equivalent to approximately four storeys to provide a transition between the park and new development. The McGill Street HIA is a rectangular shaped precinct which straddles two suburbs, Kingsford to the west and Randwick to the east. It is bounded by Willis Street, McGill Street, Hospital Road and Barker Street. The HIA adjoins the Randwick Health and Education Precinct and the Randwick Campus Redevelopment Site. The HIA is 800 metres southwest of the Randwick Junction Town Centre and approximately 500 metres south of the UNSW High Street light rail stop, providing easy access to the Sydney CBD and local shopping centres. 
The proposed changes to the planning controls for the McGill Street HIA include changing the heights to between 7 and 19.5 metres, equivalent to approximately two storeys and six storeys, increasing the FSR to 1.8 to 1, and introducing an affordable housing contribution of 3% across the HIA. Zoning changes are also proposed for the areas of uplift with zoning to change from low residential to medium density. A large portion of the HIA is identified as no change to preserve the low density character of the area in the western portion of the HIA. These two images show a view from the corner of Botany Street and Barker Street looking east. The image on the left shows the current street and the image on the right demonstrates what future buildings might look like under the proposed 19.5 metres height and 1.8 to 1 FSR controls. The photo montage illustrates how the HIA's height and FSR controls will deliver high quality developments which encourage pedestrians and commercial uses. The Kingsford South HIA is located to the south of the Kingsford Town Centre, a significant urban centre with a variety of business and residential uses. It is bounded by Rainbow Street, Botany Street, Apsley Street, Bunnerong Road, Sturt Street and Waller Street and divided into an eastern and western section with Anzac Parade running through the middle of the HIA. The western section of the HIA borders the Bayside LGA and is close to Payne Reserve, an open green space and sports field. The HIA is well serviced by transport connections being directly adjacent to the Juniors Kingsford Terminus Station of the light rail line and having access to many of the Anzac Parade and Bunnerong Road bus services. The proposed changes to the planning controls for the Kingsford South HIA include increasing the heights to between 16.5 and 17.5 metres, equivalent to approximately five storeys, increasing the FSR to 1.6 to 1 and 1.7 to 1, and introducing an affordable housing contribution of between 3% across the HIA. Areas of the HIA that include uplift are proposed to be rezoned from low density residential to medium density residential and business. A portion of the HIA in the south is identified as no change to preserve the low density character of the area. These images show a view from Anzac Parade looking north. The image on the left shows the existing buildings as the street looks now. The image on the right demonstrates what future buildings might look like under the proposed 16.5 to 17.5 metre height control with an FSR of 1.6 to 1 and 1.7 to 1. The change in zoning, height and FSR will provide the opportunity for urban renewal and ground floor retail uses to service the needs of new and existing residents. This combined with the transport connections will ensure the HIA is a vibrant destination. The full proposed changes to the LEP are on public consultation now. We invite you to discover more about our housing vision for Randwick and tell us what you think.